If you're thinking of making West Virginia your home, then one of the places to consider here in Berkeley County is Martinsburg. And like most areas in the Eastern Panhandle, Martinsburg has a variety of communities with a Martinsburg address that are different in the types of homes and lifestyle you can expect. So I'm gonna go over each of those areas so you get an idea of where they are located and more about them. This is a map of Berkeley County. It's the largest county in the Eastern Panhandle located between Jefferson and Morgan County. It's the fastest uh, growing area in the Eastern Panhandle. 81 runs right down the middle, which gives access to Maryland, uh, to the north, Virginia, and beyond to the south. So 81 quickly takes you to pretty much anywhere you want to go in those areas. And not surprisingly, the areas bordering 81 are the most densely populated and where most new construction is happening. As you get further from 81, it gets less densely uh, populated on both sides. The uh, Martinsburg area is in the middle of the county and consists of four zip codes, four different options of neighborhoods in town, in the country, river access, and uh, subdivisions. Most people associate Martinsburg with a downtown area, but that's just a small portion of the area with a Martinsburg address. The city is the purple area, which is the county seat in the downtown area. The main streets in town are Queen Street, which runs south and north, and intersects with King, which runs east to west. There's some interesting old buildings downtown and regeneration of that area is in the works. This complex of buildings is the Perfection Garment and Inner Woven Mills Factories. It opened in the 1890s. It was a huge employer for years until it shut down in 1976. And those buildings have just been sitting there all this time. Several stores have occupied parts of it throughout the years. There's an antique store and craft shop now facing King Street. The structure was recently bought and plans are in the works for restoration. So shops, uh, restaurants, I can't wait to see what they're going to do with this. <laughs> so there's good things happening in Martinsburg. And there's some neighborhoods around town that are walking distance to town. Here's a few of them. If you head west on King Street from the interwoven mills, you'll see some of the beautiful older homes in the city. Heading north from King Street on Tennessee is War Memorial Park and the homes all around the park, many of which uh, were built in the early 1900s. If you head south off King, there's Foxcroft Meadows and the homes in that area are very nice. They're newer.
As you head further west on King Street across 81, you enter the Martinsburg 25403 zip code, uh, the red area on the map. You see immediately the difference in population density. There's more countryside over there, homes, homes on larger lots. The average price of homes in that area is higher than the rest of Berkeley County. Most of the higher end subdivisions in Berkeley County are located there. There's orchards, farms, uh, it borders North Mountain, so there's some nice views, beautiful countryside. The other two zip codes are where you find most of the mid-range subdivisions in Martinsburg. Those two zip codes, 25404, 25405, wrap around the downtown area on the north and south side. The green area to the north, gray area to the south. So here's some subdivisions that are typical of what you see in that area. To the north, 25404, one of the larger subdivisions in that zip code is Hammond's Mill, which is townhomes, villas, single family homes. It's just across the street from the Spring Mills uh, school campus where there's an elementary, middle, and high school within walking distance of most homes in that subdivision. And those are newer schools, highly rated. The Potomac River access communities are also in that zip code northeast of town. You find homes that tend to be on larger lots and subdivisions with more expensive properties. Whiting's Neck is up that way on the Potomac River, beautiful area with an equestrian center. That zip code borders Shepherdstown to the south and it gets more rural the further from 81 you get. So that's 25404. On the south side is 25405. It covers a smaller area. It's more densely populated, but you know, just like all the areas, the further you get from 81, the less dense it gets. If you head east on Burke Street from downtown, there's some nice uh, subdivisions out that way. Stonebridge, Arcadia, East Sycamore Village. South of town, off Route 11, there's Pikeview Acres. It's an older subdivision, single family homes. Further down Route 11 is the West Virginia Regional Airport, which is a military airport. Summer Hill is just north of that airport. And there are several subdivisions that are further south, east from the airport. Mills Farm is a fairly large one with townhomes and single family homes. So those are the four zip codes with the Martinsburg address. You've got the downtown area, if that's the lifestyle that appeals to you. There's the more rural area, zip 25403, if you prefer the country life. There's uh, the zip code south and north of town, 25405, 25404, with more moderate price subdivision 
And then further out is the river access communities. So when you see a home with the Martinsburg address, take note of the area and zip code it's in, and then that'll give you an idea of the types of homes that are typical in that area. Okay, thanks for tuning in. And we're here if you have any questions or need help in the real estate department. And we put together a video about the great walking and hiking trails in Berkeley County. So if that interests you, that video is uh, to the right. So check it out. And I thank you for tuning in. I'll see you next week. Bye.